A steel ball starts sinking. How soon the velocity of ball differ from steady state by 1%? To solve this problem, you should know two, three things. One is the viscous force on a spherical ball that is being dropped into a liquid with a viscosity eta is given by 6 pi eta rv. So you can see here, if the viscosity is high, then viscous force is high. If the radius of the ball is more, then also viscous force is more. And finally, more the velocity, more the viscous force. And then there is a constant, 6 pi. So this is the viscous force on any solid spherical body. Need not be solid, but on any spherical shape that is passing through a liquid. Second thing, so when he says steady state velocity, so that is what is a terminal velocity. So when an object is falling, the downward force will be mg, and if its velocity is downwards, then the retarding force will be the viscous force, and it will be 6 pi eta rv. So when you drop an object, initially v is 0, so mg is high, so the ball starts to gain speed. But as it gains more and more velocity, you can see this viscous force will start to increase. And at certain point, these two forces will become equal. When that happens, the net force on the ball is zero. And that is the maximum velocity this ball can have, which is also called as terminal velocity, or in this case, a steady state velocity. So after that, the velocity does not change and net force is zero. The third thing is, in reality, as we'll see from the equation also, that ideally steady state will occur at infinite time. So we cannot say when the steady state will reach. So that's why in this problem he's saying when the, in what time we'll have the velocity that is just less than steady state velocity. So if steady state velocity is uh, v, v naught, then he's asking at what time we will get the velocity of 0.99 v naught. So very practical setup and a very practical question, which can be used to find the viscosity of a liquid. So let's solve the problem now. So we know f is equal to ma. So for the falling ball, which is going down with v, we'll say mg minus 6 pi eta rv is equal to m dv by dt. So we are taking downwards as positive. So this gives a relation between velocity and time. So we'll take the similar terms on one side. So the velocity, because it is dropped from zero velocity, so the limits of v will go from zero to v max into one minus n. So it is saying 1%, so let's say this n is 1 by 100. So the limits of v is v 0 to v max into 1 minus n, and time goes from 0 to t. This is what we need to find, time. So solving this, we get t to be this. Now only thing which we don't know here is v max. So as discussed in the beginning, at terminal velocity, the forces are equal. So V max is terminal velocity at which mg is equal to 6 pi eta r V max. So this gives the value of V max. We put that V max here and you will see all these terms inside ln will get cancelled and you will get a simplified value of ln n. And hence our answer t will be minus m by 6 pi eta r ln n. So you can see n is less than one. So this quantity will be negative. So this whole thing will become positive. All right.